Hi, so I'm going to take you through some data wrangling functions in Python that allows you to get your data in a great shape for analysis or machine learning or any other request that you may get. And these are going to be functions that span dropping or renaming values, filling missing values, dropping duplicates, replacing grouping your data, merging your data using conditionals, and using some more interesting functions like transform. So let's dive right in. We are going to be looking at a student data set, but first we need to bring that in. We import our data manipulation library, pandas, save it as a variable pd, and we also import numpy, save it as mp, and this just gives us a short way to access those particular libraries. I'm going to bring in the CSV that I'm looking for with the read CSV function from pandas and save that as a data frame called df. We're going to look at the head and you can see what we're looking at as a student data set with uh, quite a number of columns, but the scores we're looking at is math and science. However, we want to add another data set to the existing data set, which requires us to bring that data set in as English scores. And you can see we have English score, name, and then we have this index column that we're going to remove. But first, we want to merge the column, the data set that we named as DF2 with df here which has original scores so we use the merge function and functions are always indicated by the parentheses and we can access that function directly from the data frame use merge and merge the data set with df2 we can indicate the type of merge we want by using other parameters but the default is inner as you see there and what we get is the new data set here with the English scores attached. Let's drop this unnamed column here that we have here. We don't need that column so we can use the same data frame and drop the unnamed column and we want to drop the column which is axis one and we want to make sure that's done in place and you can see if I use the data set dot head, which gives us the first five rows, we can see that we were able to get rid of that column and get the new data set. Next, we want to use info to see what null or missing values we can have. You can see we have 102 entries, but not all of the columns have um, full values. You can see for age, we have 101 instead of 102 and 98. Uh, for our math score. So those are both numerical columns if I look at the data types here. So I'm just going to use the fill, same as our data frame ver um, function there by using fill in A, and I'm going to fill any missing value with zero. If you want, you could also drop those values. It depends on your use case. And let's look at info again to see what happened. Now you can see that all 102 have their values and we have no non null uh, we have no null values there all of them are non null what i want to show you next is how to replace a particular value so within our data set if i go back up here we have gender and that's indicated by other male and female i want to replace that with just the letter M and F for male and female. I can isolate that gender column with bracket notation. Then I can use the replace function with the parentheses. And then I pass in a dictionary with curly brackets where I say anything with male, replace with M, separate by the colon, anything with female, replace with F. And if I look at the head, we can see that has been replaced. Next, I want to replace a specific string. So if you look here, I, this whole city is one text or string. I want to replace something specifically in there. I want to replace the ST in, in, in those strings with Saint. And the way we do that is very similar. I isolate the city column. I replace uh, it by first accessing string, which is str.replace. 
and I pass in what I want to replace, which is st period with saint. And then I reassign that city column, so it just replaces everything. And then what I want to do is find that specific value. I use the string method again and look for contains anything I renamed as saint. And you can see that has been renamed there. So that's a very easy way to do that. This warning is just because it, this is going to change in the future. Next, let's create a new column. And we, we can do that just by using bracket notation, passing in a new name, and then doing... Uh, an addition to get the total score. So I'm going to add the math, science, and English score columns and then add that back to a new column that doesn't exist in the data frame called total score. If I look at the head of our data frame, you can see we now have the total score column. Next, what I want to do is create a group by, which is one of the most important data analyst functions out there. So you can group by your gender group. So I add a gender group by using df.groupby. You can also just add mean at the end of this, and it will do the same thing as what I'm doing here, but I isolated the gender group. Then I added the total score because I just want the total score mean, and then what we do is look at that that variable and what we have is the mean of the genders female male and other next I actually want to add the average per group back into our data set so I create a new column with the average per group and I use the group by isolate total score I use the transform function and then I add mean if we look at the head of the data set you can see for each one of the particular genders, I'm going to get an average per that gender. And we want to do this so we can compare our total score to the average per group. But first, you can create a pivot table. This is a very quick analysis that you can do. We use the pandas pivot table. I just created a name called pivot table. We pass in our data frame, indicate the values that we want to aggregate. Our rows or index is going to be gender. And then I'm going to take the mean with mp.mean. You can change that to medium or sum or whatever you need. And I want the margins to be true so I can see the total. And this is what we end up with is a classic pivot table there with all of the aggregated means. We can easily rename our total score column with score using a rename function, pass in the columns with the bracket notation, and I use this with by indicating I want the key of total score to be changed to the value score. And one of the last things we're going to do is compare our total score to the gender group mean. So I'm going to create a new column called score above mean. I'm going to use that numpy function where, which is a conditional. This is going to allow me to create a comparison. So anything that we have a score greater or equal to the average per group, give me a yes or no if it's lower. And then let me look at the first 20 that are there. And as you can see, we get the average per group column here that we created previously. We have our score, and then we do the evaluation, whether it's higher or lower, and then we assign this text or yes and no to indicate whether those have met the condition or not. So that is just 12 really good functions for you to use as a data analyst or data scientist that will allow you to make some great wrangling or cleaning of your data. I hope that helps. Thank you.